Welcome to Purple Hardback Gaming. Tonight we're going to be playing the Adventure Games. Thank you, Michelle. This is the Volcanic Island. Uh, we're on to chapter three. If you've watched uh, the other two videos, you'll see that we've done chapter one um, and then chapter two. So we're on to chapter three. If you don't want to see anything about this game because it will spoil it for you, then turn off now. Otherwise, uh, carry on watching. And if you've not seen the other chapters, please go and watch them. Uh, like the videos, subscribe to the channel, please. And we'll bring you more games. We've finished chapter two, as I said. Uh, we've actually moved straight on to chapter three. I'm not, I'm not going to lie to you. Um, but we're on to show five, six, five. Yeah, five, six, five. So it's still where we left it. Uh, and then I think before we start the next chapter, we've got a bit of tidying up to do. So, right, so put Manuel's token in the supply and to raise his token next to 502. This one will be 502. Right, and then put 10, 23, 24, I'll just tell you what's name for. Cigarettes there. 47. 47? Yeah. That's it. I think we're supposed to have done something with that. 55. And 80. Yeah. This is a box. There's one X token each on 175 and 176. But the X tokens from 202 uh, and 606 in the supply. So we'll go back to the car and go back in the mountain again. In the volcano. So it's T2 and T3 face up next to M2. Yeah, I have a time last time. I said I needed to go to work. Yeah, we need a time. Because by the time we finish up at Mountain, half hour goes in, we all die off probably. And set the level to zero. Put M2 in the box. Right, chapter 3 measures suspicion, not time. Did you stay with Jose and Francisco? Or did you move around this outside? We stayed with Francisco, but we had to choose, it said. So we said, it said you. Yeah. So we stayed with Francisco, so we're going to choose. Sorry. So we're off to. They haven't told us to do anything else, so we've left the other exit on that we had, and uh, we're going. 5265. Right. You wake up to a loud radio. Yesterday, an earthquake shook the island and gave everyone a scare. The epicenter was about 10 kilometers east of the volcano, the Institute of Geodynamics and Volcanology. Measured the earthquake at 5.8. Reports of casualties. Francisca turned off the radio. Yeah, yeah, I know. Then she sees that you're awake. I must have overdone the herbal mix a little. What about Jose? Did it work? Of course. Did you doubt that? Jose is playing outside. Could he recover? Hesitantly, Francisca continues. However, your team member is very weak and still not awake. This has never happened to me before. The following instructions apply to the character who will be opposing some energy at the end of chapter 2. Is there an OK token on 33? No. If not, place this character card and figure in the box. No. Your character card. Oh, my character card. In any case, split all of the unconscious characters and adventure cards among the remaining characters. Keep reading and then entry four six five. Where are we still? How are we meant to get an OK on there? I don't know. Well, because we found it. It didn't say put an OK on it. Oh, unless it was. Because we needed something else to give him, didn't we? Yeah. Coconut. Yeah, well, not the way back in chapter one, apparently. And there's more bad news. Teresa got hurt. 
She leads you into the next room. You see Teresa looking pale with a bandage on her head. She laboriously begins to speak. I'm glad for us here, most of you are well. We missed a lot out there. The fisherwoman, Ophelia, attacked me shortly after you went into the house with Francisca. She was firmly convinced that I was responsible for the disappearance of some important items belonging to Naima Gonzalez. When I look at you, I can't get rid of the feeling that she suspected the wrong person. She winked at you tiredly. Unfortunately, Ophelia went in hiding during the earthquake. She's probably hiding somewhere in the village. Manuel, on the other hand, fled toward the mountains. He's got some explaining to do when he shows up. Then Jose must have been eavesdropping and comes running in. Papa didn't do it. His friends must have talked him into it. Papa always says they're not very smart, but they can be very persuasive. Do you know where we can find them? Jose looks uncertainly at Teresa, who nods at him encouragingly. Papa wanted to go to the pyramid and he told me about the zoo. I've never been there. Please may I come with you? I can talk to animals too. Jose, you're not supposed to tell that to a stranger, says Francisca. But if they helped me, they're not strangers anymore, are they? She sighs. Child logic. Take good care of them. Right, so I've got to four. 27. Can't see. Uh, oh, 27. Uh, 33, 38. And Teresa's tokens in the box. Put any tokens on these cards in the supply. Reveal location cards A and C in case they are face down. Put an X token on 301. The player's character is removed from the game, it's 51. <laughs> Not impressed. <laughs> you meant to stay. I never meant you do anything. You cannot ca combine 51 with other adventure cards or locations. Jose will help you in other ways. Right. Yeah. Take Jose's token and put it in the plastic stand of your previous character. From now on, you play as Jose. No, from now on, just imagine that Jose is always accompanied by an adult. Take M3, put it next to T2, and T3 and read it aloud. So chapter 3. Manuel and Ophelia are missing. Follow their trail and find out more about Gonzalez. In addition, you can't shake off the feeling that you are being watched. Uh, then take 57. And place it next to M3 and read it aloud as well. Updated situation. The events have left their marks. If this card is on display, the following applies. Add 90 to each location number of the location cards A, F and G. Add B4. I got B4. Add 40 to each location number on location card C. So we did last time. This applies for exploring as well as when you come by something in one of the locations. No, no, bad. That's it. Don't bother. That said, look at it. And that said, well, there's some water. Yeah. I can't even see. Tea's going on. Good. Here will be all my stuff I'm carrying. That's it. Looking forward to two more people again. Some stuff. It doesn't say in the rules that you can't carry it off. So, what do you want from? Uh, 
think I should have them in the combine them. I also think I should have the car back if go back to the car. Combine them. Um, right back here, I, don't, I just don't know what what we could use. We can work it back, work back, right back again. Any of these locations would have felt nicer to just be like what right now. Oh yeah, that's how it's called, 501. If you have 51... Yeah, I do. Let's wait 7 minutes. Francisca sitting on the porch having tea. As you approach, she smiles wide and waves at you. The heroes of the village. There's always a place of honour for you with me. Here, do you want a cup of tea? At your critical glance, she answers with a smile. Don't worry, this time it's really just tea. You look silently into the distance. About that, what happened to... As if she had read your thoughts, she interrupts you. Don't worry, we'll take care of your school friends until they're fully recovered. All right. By the way, Grimaldo saw Manuel walking towards the observatory shortly after the earthquake. She adds thoughtfully, Actually, Grimaldo knows a lot about what is going on for Hermes. She says to you, You'll need your car for that, though it's too far to walk. If you don't already have part of it, Francisco gives it to you. That's what I find. Yeah. Must be a box. Yeah. Mm. Can't be a box again, is it? A wheel. The wheel. The wheel. Yeah, the, the wind wheel. Thing. Oh, the turbine thing. I'm sure that'll be fine. Oh yeah, wind turbine. Oops. Right, well I'll go back to the car then. Uh, for now I'll just read 292 and 287. And then I'm going to stay with Returning and put the car back in. You sit at the wheel and want to start the engine, but it only chokes briefly and then it's quiet. After an unsuccessful attempt, you lift the hood. Someone cut the V-belt and tampered with the battery. Sabotage. Swearing you notice Swearing, you notice that the battery is fully discharged and the fuel is gone. To get the engine going again, you must find gasoline and spare parts. Thankfully, you have at least one inch chili can for gas. Take 32 and 49. Well, 32 face up next to N3. 32 and 49. 49. Yeah, that's what an empty chili can says. Place an X token on 202. As long as this card is face up, on the table, this location is not acceptable. Put this card next to M3. If you have found a spare part, combine 32 with the corresponding card and read the entry. Okay. I'm guessing that's where your tube comes in then. Which again? Uh, okay. Oh, oh yeah, the car. Car. Yeah. And then I've got the jerry can so we're going to have to do. Yeah. Right, where are you winning there? If you have 51, I think it's 51. Yeah. It's just a bit weird that like now it's still reading as if it's somebody else, but it's not right. It's Jose. Yeah. So she said, Oh, yeah, don't worry about it. Your friend's going to be safe. Well, it won't me, it won't Jose. Yeah. 
As soon as we drive out of the house, Jose storms in and calls, Papa, Cabrita, Kiki. Just then a coin sounds from the east. There's a blue parrot sitting there. Kiki. Jose starts chirping and whistling at an incredible speed, interrupted by occasional scraps of words. The bird answers in the same gibberish. After a while, Jose says to you, Kiki says you've done quite well for people so far. If you're nice, you'll come and help us. May she please put Jose's character on 503. Oh. Do you want to take Kiki with you? If you do, put Kiki's token on 54, 51. It's a bit disjointed now because you can see. Yeah. Uh, so I'll put my my number in now. Thirty-two and fifty-two. After a few tries, the battery is finally installed. Oil smeared but proud, you look at your work. I love it when a plan comes together. Put fifty-two in the box and an OK token on the battery on thirty-three. Uh, thirty-two in it. Once all three symbols are covered. The restaurant is still closed due to bad weather. Most suspicious. Due to the earthquake, however, the door to the terrace has shifted and can now be opened. So you decide to take a little look inside. Uh, there is nothing unusual in the main room except for a few broken bottles. From the cellar you can hear Ophelia's voice. Quickly you bring the others in for reinforcements and you sneak quietly down. Let's show characters on it. Ophelia sits with her back to you at the radio, her headphones around her neck, and fumbles sluggishly at various switches. She doesn't seem to notice that the power went out. Hey, Senora, can you hear me? Things are going seriously wrong. Hick. The box is gone, and Manuel is gone, and your house. Hick. It's also gone. So she grabs the bottle in front of her and empties it in one go. Then she slurs into the microphone again. Senora, I've cleaned up my. Hick. Almost. I'll do the rest before things go gloom. Hick. I. I. Over and out. Shortly afterwards, she's lying over the table, snoring. After you tie Ophelia up, you look around. There's a note in her hand. Next to the open packages, there is a flashlight. And on the ground, there are several blue feathers and bird droppings. With your combined efforts, you can bring Ophelia to Francisca and Teresa. Take 71, 82, and 19. This is if you don't already have. Uh, and then what else? 71 and 82. Eighty. What's the flashlight? Eighty-two. Well, are these for me? I did this one. Eighty-two. I did these anyhow. Oh no. Ophelia's note. So, to make a clean sweep of the restaurant, it's crossed out. Pick Helena's brain. Bug Abru's nest in the mountains. Get Azure McCaw and bring it to the orcas. Fix, of course, Ellie's antenna, but that's crossed out. To scare off the Barton. Look around the university thoroughly, especially in, in Abru's office. But do it unobtrusively and leave the critters alone. Oh, it says read 82. Sure. Uh, advanced to suspicion level by one. Just a few of each level by one. Right, so what am I going to do? Oh, I'm going to take that off your shoe. Yeah. And then I'm going to combine it with 594.
You're gonna keep walking up. The garden door slightly ajar. Behind the fence, you hear a dog playing spiritually. B4 is already on display. Otherwise, place B4 face up to the right of location card F. Place your character on B4. You are already a little queasy when you open the door to Teresa's garden, but your fear is unfounded. Big dog, 651, plays exuberantly. In front of you there are some planters, 653, and in the back there is a small covered terrace, through which one could probably enter the house, 652. Well, should, I, should I try the jerry can then? then? Find that oh, one. Yeah, yeah. It's weird just to show me the that, but. Oh, well, this is not so safe. Don't try this at home. You put the jerry can on the ground above the gas cap. You hang the tube into the gas tank and suck on it hard. Then you quickly put the end of the tube into the jerry can. Let's see what's in the tube in there. After a short time, it is full. There's 49 in the box and an OK token on the jerry can on the fridge. Oh, yeah. So now, what's that? The B door for the Oh, I thought that was a B. Oh, yeah. Um, I'll just see the dog. Actually, you're very well socialised. The dog looks at you, wagging her tail. Right, well, I'll just combine them for now. So 26 and 37. And then I'll go back up and see Glenaldi. 26.37. Boom. You may knock out wine. The strong smell of the berries blends into the bouquet of the wine perfectly. You know this is strictly forbidden, don't you? 26 and 37 in the box. Take 50. Knock out wine. Teresa has neatly tagged all of the plants with small tags and the names and descriptions. Among them are also some exotics like Trick Shroom, Consciousness Expansion, Pink Sherlock, protect Protection, and Chuck, still to be determined. Unfortunately, two planters next to Chuck are empty. Will you find a note underneath? Take 54. Oh, it's seven! Seven. Right. Uh, I just got them dog dogs. Right. Well, I'm going to come up here. Uh, I'll see him first. I'll go talk to Grimaldo. Grimaldo. Grimaldo looks, Grimaldo looks at you pitifully. Are you not stressed out by all this messing around? It wasn't without reason that I left. By the way, Manuel left me that belt over there for you. You know what to do with it. Take 31. Speed belt. Right, you're going to combine them and see if that's something we can do. Yeah. So 40, 50, 40. Well, I said no because I'm just going to be Both halves fit perfectly, but what do you need to cover the triangle 7 for? We need that. Yeah. I'll just them together then. Yeah. What does that say on it? It says you can try to open the container any time. Proceed to entry XYZ20, where XYZ corresponds to the three digit code. In that order. Yeah, no, triangle, square, circle, is that the order we've got? Okay. 728 20. We'll do that next time. Yeah. Does it say any time? Same time. I 
any time no, again. Not until now. It's the same way it's been. Well, that's a different way of doing it now, isn't it? Yeah. <coughs> Now I'm curious. You enter the numbers and wait. After a few seconds, the curved lid of the box lifts up on its own and falls off with a quiet plunk. Excitedly, you pour the contents into your hand with an old parchment scroll. However, only the title, Liber Avium, is legible. The rest is written in a language unknown to you. Put 20, 40, and 54 in the box. Take 35. Right, so I'm going to combine this with that, so 31, 32. With a little effort, you install the new V-belt. The 31 in the box, and an OK token on the V-belt, 132. Once all three symbols are covered, go to 130. We know it's... Well, we might be able to do that. Well, we know. 130. Finally, I was beginning to think we'd never get out of here. Where are we going next? There is enough fuel to reach the observatory, I, and the zoo, K. Unfortunately, the university and pyramids are too far away. The 32 in the box and a token value in the slot. So it's location card I, face down above G. Then K, face down to the right of I. When you drive to one of these places for the first time, you cover the corresponding location card with the respective entry. Take 53 and put it next to M3 and read it aloud. 53. Right. If you're in the tank allows you to drive to two locations, put this card next to M3. If there are X symbols on both jerry can symbols, you cannot continue and you have to search for fuel. Carry on. Six five two. On the terrace, there are two comfortable looking lounge chairs. Behind it is the house. As you move in that direction, the dog starts growling. Okay, okay, I get it. This is your territory. Check out the dog. I have a dog on. I'm just with them on the door, aren't they? Right, look, there's the dog that one. The dog that one. That one's 5651. Right, that's 50. Yeah. You've got the red as well, haven't you? Right, so where else is this going? Mm -hmm. The rules are a bit weird on this at the moment, but you know you can drive to Lion or K if you want. So I don't know. Well, you can see what it is. Matter of fact, he likes animals, didn't he? But Ellie's token. Scientist, on the space above 702. Uh, some silhouettes of people at the moment. Off on the 
effect. Uh, the road leads up more than a mile above sea level, 701. The view of the volcano, 706, is amazing. On the left is the radio telescope, 704. To the right of it is the observatory, 705. In front of its entrance stands a woman, 702. And there's a mountain that doesn't seem to like it here, 703. If you have come to the observatory for the first time, use your fuel. Put an X token on 52. So might as well start seven oh one. Just get this one in. Well, somehow it makes sense that this road is here. It's not like they could have built the observatory with the materials brought in by Elko. If I go back over here and see the Elko shaking there. Yeah, just pop that there and then I'll carry some more. Longer series, just so you can see. If you have 51, yeah. Yeah. Just break it into. What's the matter? Jose says to the small furry animal. Then he makes some squeaks and puffs. Then Jose suggests, Come with us if you are getting too hot up here. We still want to go to the pyramid and the zoo. He seems to convince the Martin. He jumps on Jose's shoulder, curls up, and looks at you hungrily. He says he's hungry. All he's found to eat up here is tangled up electrical cables, says Jose. But Jose's character on 703. Take 61 and put an X token on 703. Um, uh, sweet bread. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, obviously, oh, I'm yeah. Small thin woman is wearing a white coat with to reinforce the stereotype about scientists. But underneath it, she's wearing a kind of uniform black trousers and a blue shirt with a strange emblem on the chest. Wow, visitors, welcome to the SETI project. I'm Ellie, your science officer on the tour of the stars. My assistant, Guy, here. Guy? Guy! Held down. That red shirt and Lincoln proof is missing again, with no excuses. Uh, sorry, if I'm doing this alone, I can't let you into the observatory. Someone's got to be on standby all the time. We could be receiving signals from out there any time. You can't get in like that, but maybe Ellie can be distracted somehow. I'll look her out. Fifty-seven oh two. I think so. Uh, I'll just take a little one seven one fourteen. Then you want me to pick this mountain up? Yeah. On one of the struts, someone has written "Set it. We are not alone." With a marker, the radio telescope is currently pointing up into the sky. There's a little oil can next to it. Take seventy. With a swift kick, you could possibly readjust, readjust the dish of the radio telescope. If that's what you want to do, now you need to. Yeah, well then, let's kick it. He has just lost his dad, you know. Ah, the metal is surprisingly harder than your foot. The pain is commensurate. Never heard that word in my life. No. <laughs> but the dish has shifted a little. There's a soft noise coming from the observatory now. It's an OK token under 704. Yeah, we must have put them in there. <laughs> right, so I'm going to feed this Martin the bread, am I? Yeah, he's hungry. 43, 61. No, that would definitely not be a species appropriate diet. Okay. Alright, quickly back to you. Can I knock him out of the mic? 705. Yeah, there's a noise coming from it. If an OK token is below 704, uh, then 718. 
The noise gets louder the closer you get to the entrance. Occasionally you can even make out voices. But to understand more, you must go into the building. There's an X token on 702. Yep. Otherwise, continue, continue being here. The scientist is friendly but firm. I'm sorry, I'm alone today. My assistant guy isn't here today. The tour is therefore cancelled. But I can tell you about Einstein, Rosa and Wormhole while you're here. So what? Uh, I just wanted to look at the stars. About to send the man tomorrow. Get it. He's hungry. 61702. Finally, the beast has found someone else to annoy. Take your new mascot with you. Think about that. I think that's what she's thinking. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 706. <laughs> the majestic volcano towers before you. Only a few miles separate you from the summit crater of Pico Fuego. The sight of the calming effect on you at first. But the longer you look at the mountain, the more certain you are that something is off today. Which one of you wants to take a closer look? Fortunately, it's got to be one of the main ones, it's going to have to be me. Yeah. So I'm dying three for this. You're shaking and everything around you is bright red. When you close your eyes to concentrate, you see fire and smile. Not everyone who plays with fire is going to get burned. You've suppressed the strong impulse to torch something. Put an X token on 706. We're going to try to zoom in, aren't we? Sitting with that, I just need to distract the book. What? The red? The short sweet? Red. Yeah, the sweet red. Oh, no, I don't know. Try it. Otherwise, we might try Miss Winston. Oh, yeah. Done. yeah. Let me just try that. It's my turn. Thing. I lost back of the words. Uh, yeah, that was my turn. So 43702. I'm going to feed the scientists some bread. And you said I was stupid ducking around. Well, you tried to knock everything out. No, 43, 7, 0, 2, so. so you're coming down and you're going to do 48, 48. 7, 0, 2. A shrunken head made from a tennis ball. Even I think that's weird. We're going to go to the zoo, aren't we? Yeah, we're going to have to. So I'm driving to the zoo because you're just a child. Okay. There is a map board, 902, at the information booth. On it you see the popular parapet enclosure, 906. The action-packed ocean theme park, 903. And the socially thrilling maintenance building, 904. With one of the entries to go directly there. Costume zookeeper, 905, with a feed bucket, 901. That's near the booth. Under the roof of the booth, there is a balloon, 907. Come to Zoom for the first time, use your fuel. Put an extra token on 706. I'm going to go to the maintenance building. 904. They might not think it's very exciting, but I do. What's 906? Uh, popular parrot enclosure. The maintenance building certainly is not very exciting. Not a single tourist will think to waste any time here. Security cameras, negative. What's the point? The rare and endangered animal species are elsewhere. Besides, the door's locked. But now that you're here, you march around the building. A cable hangs out of an open window and you hear an employee yelling loudly. Wah ha ha, I love this job. Where else can you spend hours watching orcas get all these people sopping wet? Then a telephone ring. Yes, of course. Kowalski here. No, nope, no special incident, boss. No, no, definitely not the orchid show videos. I just got that jerk croaking on the screen at the entrance. Uh, yes, boss. I'd love to untangle the huge mess of cables here. Looks like a bowl of spaghetti. Right away, it's as good as done. The telephone receiver is unopened, swallowed by a sigh. 
I hate this job. Still got my hair pits. I'm not doing one pit a lot. Did you? Yeah, I made a win. It's in Paris. Nine or six. Oh, that's just A, isn't it? Yeah. I want to get hanged on five. We looked everywhere last time, we're only on five. Many endangered parrot species are bred in captivity here. Today, the enclosure is closed to visitors. A camera next to the entrance ensures that the closure is observed. I wonder if there's any way to turn it off. There's an OK token next to 906, that's very by me. It's me, it's me, I'm going to pick the lock. 17904. I'm finally going to use something. You ready? Yeah. I'll just do this time. 17. Oh, I'll just speak to the crazy guy then. 905. Well, I'm going to knock him out next time. <laughs> Which would be not get um, minus points for just getting it wrong. Hey, do you want a photo with Croquet? Take 92 and read it. Come in here with croquet. Croquet is very self-absorbed. So croquet is very self-absorbed. The question is, can you pick his brain? Which one of you wants to talk to him? It's going to be me because there's nobody else here. That was seven eight. Hey, Croquet, Sato, you old nerd. You are registered before your exams? Sure, and you? You know I'm making money here for next semester. I'm not so good at the school thing. Should I tutor you again? That would be great. By the way, I got a hot tip there that there's a lot of animal smuggling going on here. Croquet looks at you repeatedly and says quietly, Senor Gonzalez meets regularly with the director. Then boxes with air rolls and envelopes change hands. The next day there will be a free buffet and warm words for all employees who, of course, saw absolutely nothing. But you didn't get that from me. Put 92 in the box. So, we'll pull this one, boy. Let's write that down. Stop the hands. Put it down. Yeah. Animals. Oh, I feel like we're going to get in that maintenance room with another hand. Well, we have been turned out to one and three. You are here. The board gives a good overview of the entire zoo. Mm -hmm. Will it be 907? Mm -hmm. I'll put 907. The balloon has a spaceship design on it, a great gimmick for all children and sci-fi nerds. Surveillance camera next to it reminds you more of Orwell though. Take 59. Surveillance camera next to the balloon. What, what, 59 is it? Yeah. We can cover, cover surveillance camera up. Okay. I'm going to go to 9 o'clock. I'll put 9 o'clock. A bucket full of bones. <clears throat> Any vegetarian would run screaming. Most predators, and especially dogs, find them irresistible. Forensic guys too, but they bag and tag everything one by one. When you start to fish for a bone, the zookeeper scolds you. Hands off, there for the predator enclosure. Then Mr. Raccoon looks at the mosquitoes, orbiting him in anger. Bah, damn biting flies, I'll smash you all. But without a fly swatter, you don't think his chances are very good. Sounds up. Yeah. I'll give it to him or the, the bucket. Anyway, so you're going to put your balloon over a 9 or 7, are you? Yeah. So 59. No. Listen, but when you went to 9 or 2, mm -hmm. I'm going to surveillance. Mm -hmm. So what? I'm going there and giving him the saddle? Yeah. 29905. Try this on the mosquitoes. You had croquet as a sandal. 
Ha, you miserable creatures on guard. It's okay, make short work of the mosquitoes. Thank you very much. They suck to me dry like vampires. Here, you'll get some bones for that. If there's something missing, it won't be noticed. 29 in the box. <coughs> the next token on 901. Um, take 56. There you go. Several bones. That's the mountain. Give that to her. The mountain. Oh, it's a doll. Oh, yeah, it's not quite that. We need to get into a hole. I thought you were doing that. I thought I was written out of rain. No. I was written out of rain and then I knew we were going to take the bonus down to God. If you have 51, yeah, then you just wait for it. Yeah. I feel like we must be doing something if we've got 51. Yeah. <laughs> This will be a lot of fun for us, eh? It goes without saying that you sit in the front row. To your dismay, you realise the other audience members and sit next to you are bathing suits on and are holding umbrellas. About halfway through the show, you realise why. And now comes the moment you've all been waiting for. The orca somersaults. Yes, exactly. Stood in a giant belly flop, not three feet from you. The ensuing tsunami almost washes you out of your seats. Jose is squealing with delight, just like the other kids in the front row. The rest look somewhat grumpy. Set Jose's character on 903. Alright, so I'm coming down here and I'm feeding the bones to the dog. Yeah. No. Are you kidding me? That's the 651, isn't it? 652. Oh, yeah, 651. Or do you need it to do 652? Because when we go to 652, that's when it starts growling. See what the numbers are on that top one. Yeah, okay. It's a number that starts 56, and it's not anything that's on the ball. Sorry if I'm cheating, but. It's just um, not a thing. Oh, I've got that one off then. Just going to look into all there. Can't really do well. We've got this. What about giving another balloon? Said she needs a distraction. Yeah. Cool, the Millennium Falcon. But it's not enough to lure Ellie away. What happens if we... Oh, it's not for me. It's a fly. I'm going to go and knock him out. Nine oh five. Is that it? Yeah. Said to me about a surveillance camera. No, I don't know. I know. What about if you were there? It's a telescope. It's an observatory, and you wave that in front of it, and then it, oh, and then it distracts yeah. it. Yeah. Fifty nine seven oh five. No. You just wasted my turn, aren't you? I right, wasn't. Well, what are we doing there? <laughs> I really don't know. Right, so, so what happened when we came here? You got a balloon. I got the balloon. Yeah. What about the surveillance? What about surveillance? What about the balloon with 902? Right, so 59. Apologise to the people watching this video, five but we're nine, completely stuck. 902. Right, 59, don't combine with anything. Oh, okay. Not in that bit anyway. Really stuck now. Will she, will he or she know this? He might actually. Three, five, six, or two. Well, 
three, five, six, or six or two. If I go down here, we're in for this. Okay. Oh, it's not six or two, do it. It's nineteen. Don't you somewhere you can get a hint? Yeah, there's hints. In the level as well. Okay? Yeah. I'm nearly stuck now. So, what should we try? 702. And there's nearly 2 million yeah. zero. LA info. LA info 67. 702 is a little earlier, wasn't it? 67. Did you send it over to the 56652? Bones and Gummies and Pals. What's this? That's the dog. Throwing the tennis ball? This is Martin 904. Let's put it this way you want to examine the parrot enclosure without being observed, and the marks in a starry, an epic win win. You carefully lift the furry creature to the window. He sniffs briefly and quickly disappears inside. Oh, my ears. Then follows a rustling, a crash, and a scream. Wow, where did you come from? No, not the wires. Suddenly there is a burnt smell in the air. Oh no, the boss is going to rip my head off. Well, for Kowalski, it's not necessarily a win. So at least the cameras are off now. 61 in the box. One OK token next to 906. And one X token on 904. 906. And an X token Y for 904. And then you're going to 906. Many endangered parrot species are bred in captivity here. Today the enclosure is close to visitors. The camera next to the entrance ensures that the closure is observed. I wonder if there's any way to turn it off. There's an OK so it connects to 906. Go to 858. A bit about that. Yeah, about the monkey. I don't know if it was. Like his wires. Yeah, it's a bit like sweet wires. Yeah. Place C3 face up to the right of the location card. Okay. Place your character on C3. A large bird enclosure surrounds a huge volume of space containing soaring structural girders, lots of greenery, and surveillance cameras everywhere. That's why I thought. Since they are switched off from parrots at 656, use them as their preferred toilets. A little off the visitor trail, you can make out a trap door at 655. Oh, I'm not hanging around here, I'm going down that trap door. Maybe there's somebody I can knock out. Oh, so long. Since, the ca since the cameras are off, you step casually over the chain running along the edge of the path and lift the trap door. You descend a staircase and pass through an illuminated narrow corridor into a storeroom. There's nobody in here right now, but you can hear sounds behind the only other door. The walls are full of shelves with crates and packaging material. You walk to the table in the middle of the room where there is a big box of packing slips. That's when the door opens. Quickly, you duck behind the box and listen. Yes, boss. 
I'm afraid we've lost contact with Ophelia on the radio. That's my well. Damn it, your trip to the stupid pyramid wasted an unnecessary amount of time. Come on, deliver this and then come to the rendezvous point and make it snappy. To be down, pick up the box and put it on nose. Boss turns around and holds out the box to Manuel. Manuel's eyes widen when he sees you. He takes a deep breath from his cigarette and quickly looks back at the box and says, You've got it. He grabs the box with one arm, puts the other one around the box's sh boss's shoulders and says, And to make it up to you, I'll do the next inventory, okay? With that attitude, you'll go far. With that, the two of them go out and the door shuts behind them. You take a quick look around. There's a book in a box and a full can of gasoline in one of the corners. Great, so we can finally get to the pyramid, J and the University L. You take both and run back to the parrots. Okay now. So uh, take seventy five. Book containing counterfeit money, um, and put the X tokens that are on fifty three in the supply. It's location card J face down to the left of I. Uh, and L face down above I. Uh, when you drive to one of these places for the first time, you could with corresponding cards and use your respective trip. Okay. I'll go to six five six. If you have fifty one, I'm fine. Childlike enthusiasm, Posey waves and whistles to the parrots. One of the azure macaws trustingly jumps onto Posey's shoulder. The whistling and squawking resumes. Posey translates. Sometimes Gonzalez is there with her funny white hair looking at us, the parrots, and the fat man everybody calls the boss stands next to her. At night there's a shadow or something, and the next day one of us is missing. Sorry. The parrot croaks something that makes Posey sit up straight. Papa was here. I'm supposed to tell you that your professor and Gonzalez want to meet, but he doesn't know where yet. Set Jose's character on 656. Yeah. Yeah. Advance the suspicion level by one. Alright, well, I'm going to leave you there and I'm going to go to the university. Central Square of a small island university is like a ghost town. This means the caretaker's cat, 841, can play without any interruptions. A piano, 842, uh, also sits abandoned. A large auditorium, 843, is located straight ahead. At this time, students should have popped to the cafeteria on the right, 844, and to the library on the left, 845. From here, you can even see Professor Abreu's office, 846. Come to university for the first time, you use fuel. It's an extra token on fuel. Uh, I'm going to go straight to the source. I'm going to go to the Abreu. And I'll knock him out. Professors, officers, including Abreu, are on the second floor. An out of office note is still hanging on, on the door, which is unfortunately locked. If only you could break it open somehow. Epin. I'll go to 654.
These evil cameras would record every move you make, but if it hadn't been for your little Martin and his capable spaghetti buffet. Okay. Uh, I'm going to try my acting on 846. Well, Check in. I don't know how that's going to be. Tennis ball. Yeah, try it. Pop it down here. And uh, 48, 6 minus 1. I'm not going into 6 minus 2. Uh, I'll go 29. 8 ball 2. Oh, that's it. Can't. No. Okay. Anyone who plays the open air piano must also face the criticism of the audience. I guess the last last artist was quite something. Take seventy six. Seventy six. That's the pyramid. Oh, it's a gold coin. Oh, I'll go stick pyramids then. Those who expect a mini geezer will be disappointed by the pyramid 805. It is less than 20 yards high, stepped, and the entrance 804 is nothing to write home about. Next to a souvenir stand 801, there is a tour guide 802. There are also a few twigs lying around 803. If you come to the mirror of the pyramid for the first time, use your fuel to have stuff. Yeah, I'm obviously it sticks then. It's more exciting than the pyramid. Well, I'm thinking I'm trying to get into this 652. Some thin twigs, good as a toothpick substitute, or for crafting if you had the right tools. Take 58. I'm going to go to the cafe. When you open the door, the smell of food wafts into your nose. If you have 51 with nacho on it, good then. Otherwise, continue reading here. Nobody here, what's going on? Usually the cafeteria is packed. Uh, where are you going? Uh, tour guide. Hello, I'm Helena. Oh, look at that. Oh, love Helena. Yeah. What does it say about her? Pick Helena's brain. No, okay. And I'd be happy to answer any questions you may have about the pyramid. pyramid. If you have 51, go to 358. I'm supposed to ask you if you saw something unusual. Do you mean the storm or the earthquake? No, my friends want to know if the same people have always watched the pyramid. Or if something's going on here. You mean illegal? Tell me. Are your friends with the police? No, they're from the university. Confounded, Helena looks over at you and smiles and waves uncertainly. Tell them everything's okay here and ask them if they want a souvenir. Will you? Okay. I suppose this character I'm going to talk to. I'm going to go to 843. And it also says, look around the university thoroughly, especially in um, Abru's office, but do it unobstructively and leave the critters alone. Okay. Yeah, it also says, bug Abru's nest in the mountains. As soon as you open the door, you will hear shushing. Several. Yeah, shush. Several people are telling you to be quiet. Quietly, you go to the stairs and look into the hall. It's full to bursting. Students, professors and employees sit tightly packed and listen attentively to the governor of the island talking about the opportunities offered by the cruise ship. You are about to concentrate on the speech as you discover Abriel in the gallery. As inconspicuously as possible, you move towards him. From below you hear, remember the date, March 14, 1989. Eighteen, what? 
1989 will be a turning point in the history of our island. You're leaving already. All eyes are on you. Looks like you're going to sit back down and listen to the rest of the speech. Avery, on the other hand, took advantage of this distraction and got out of there. Advanced the suspicion level by one. One more, I remember. You going to me? Yeah. Hey, the wall. At the souvenir stand, you can buy pottery, textiles, and wooden parrots. Anyone who knows anything about this pyramid will soon realize that this stuff has nothing to do with the archaeological site here. But considering the appearance of the tour guide, this is not surprising. If you have 51, go to 621. Put Jose's figure next to 801. Jose looks at the souvenirs with wide eyes. Well, young man, are you here for the first time? Yes. Dad has already told me a lot about the pyramid. He thinks the corridors in there are great. That makes the young woman curious. I'm Helena, by the way. And you? Jose. Nice to meet you, Jose. A long conversation ensues between the two of them. Little by little, the conversation becomes more cordial. At some point, Helena says, Oh, I have something your dad gave me for you. Here you go. She presents Jose with something shiny. Wow, take 68. Glass pyramid. Advance the suspicion level by one. See, maybe it's not best um, splitting up. So now we've got to read 777. Yeah. It's obvious there's something wrong here. People are behaving awfully suspicious, as are the animals. This parrot, for example, it flutters right at you and sits on the ground next to the yards under you. And what do you want from me, you little spy? It rustles around briefly with its beak on its leg, then jumps back and squawks. There's now a piece of paper on the ground. You pick it up and read the scribbling writing. Gonzalez is getting angry because you're interrupting the preparations. Besides, Abreu is watching you closely. Each of them plays their own game. I don't know what you've already found out, but everything is not as it seems, so be careful. And please take good care of Jose. It is signed with N. Put T2 back in the stack and T3 in the box. Where are you going? If you have 63, you're lucky. Today is our open house day. You may therefore look at the entrance room of the pyramid. They just uncovered it last week. Uh, do you want to go inside? Yeah. Yeah. I've got a flashlight. If you have 51, go to 962. I always look, and I, I know I'm 50, 51. <laughs> I'm sorry, but the little man can't go in. Not everything is secured in there yet. Hey, I'm not little. If you still want to go inside, you must send someone other than Jose. Okay. In that case, 208. Am I coming over there? Yeah. I am going to Free entry to a newly discovered pyramid chamber. I'm in. Transition from sunlight to the semi darkness of the chamber is too much for your eyes. You're blindly feeling around until you find a lever. That must be the light switch. As you're pulling on it, you hear Helena calling out, And don't touch anything! But it's too late. You hear a rumble and the entrance closes. Take C2 and place it face up to the left of location card J. Place our character on C2, go to 435. It takes a while before you get used to the dim light. The passage is obviously blocked, 951. Next to a column sleeps a white dog, 952. And on one side of the room sits a large wooden box, 953. Take 63 and put it next to M3 and read it aloud. As long as this card is face up, you can only explore locations on C2. You can still interact with location 804. 
you can combine items with number 63. Okay. Important, if an adventure card or entry asks you, ask which of you wants to do something specific, the character trapped on C2 will not be available. No one can perform the action, sort the adventure card back into the deck and do not continue the winning entry. Make a note of the corresponding location of card pieces. Because you can still interact with 804, but I'll, I'll trip your flashlight in somehow. Um, you didn't take. No, you were reading from me. Take 63 for next entry. But the next token, next to 804. Yeah, so you can still interact, but yeah. just so we're clear, you're trapped in here and no one else can get in here. So I'm going to 805, just follow up. The Island Pyramid. What did you learn about this in Professor Abru's seminar? Oh, because she didn't go to your computer to tell you what was. Inconclusive. The builders are a mystery. Is it simply a heap of old stones or a much more ancient place of worship? As a Norwegian researcher suspects. Want a tour, maybe? I can tell you a lot about it. Me too. What do you mean? We covered this at my university. Oh, and she's very quiet. If you have 51 with Kiki, go to 821. Kiki spirals her way up into the air and circles several times over the pyramid. Then she spots something, flies south, and after a few moments, she can no longer be seen. Fortunately, there are really great, possibly even antique, stones to marvel at here. Therefore, the hour until Kiki's return almost flies by. With a loud call, she flutters down onto your shoulder. Well, did you enjoy the view? Instead of answering directly, Kiki imitates noises. Door opening. The adjustment of chair is a clearing of her throat. Then she repeats the conversation. Even the different voices can be identified. Avru just won't talk. A woman. Call. And what do we do now? That was definitely Manuel. Screech whistle. Quiet. Did you hear that? Another woman who sounds familiar to you. Call. Hands up. You're surrounded. Wait. That was Kiki's own voice. Then hasty steps move away. Kiki looks at you. Puffing herself up and swords. Your cracker or your life. I have no idea what's going on. <laughs> I don't know where we need to do, I don't know who I need to knock out. Stop going on back. Knocking <laughs> somebody out. Uh, I'll come and see you, Mr. Dog. 952. You calmly approach the sleeping dog. He rolls over comfortably onto his back and, and stretches out all four limbs, so you can read his tag up for all. Hi, Indiana. You've got a nice tag in the shape of a board. At the word board, Indiana perks up and looks at you curiously, and then proceeds to put his head down and the girls are off again. That's a good board. Where are you going? Um, I didn't go in there. It's not a place to think. Oh, and cat. Coming over there. Oh, we're going to go to. Either here with to see if that'll trigger out or that, and then here with. No, I don't think I'm going to do that. But yeah, I'll go to cat first. Well, Rambo, what have you got there? If you have 51, that's a knife or a hand. Hey kitty kitty, calls Jose enthusiastically. The cat stares the boy down, intensely, but Jose walks over to him, comforts her and babbles away at him. When he accidentally books into the ball of yarn, the ice is broken. They play until Rambo shoots the ball of yarn right between your eyes. Ouch! Instinctively, Rambo ducks into the bushes. Jose comes over and says, Hey Rambo, I like you. For this reason, I should tell you not to eat or drink anything that Abru gives you. Otherwise, you'll be as funny as the others before you. Thought for you. Thoughtfully, you look at the wolf. Well, with this and with the right tools, something interesting could be crafted. Take 64. It said about the crafting something with a twig, didn't it? Yeah. Do not eat or think, uh, drink anything out of the room. 64. 64. I ran out of space. 
As soon as you hold out one of the buds for Indiana, he jumps up, wagging his tail. Hey, Indiana, not so greedy. You'll get this if you get me out of here. Then the dog shuffles to a hole behind the box. There. Indiana digs like mad and widens the hole into a passage. And there's something clattering on the floor. You pick it up. After a while, he comes back to you and indicates for you to follow him. Well, if you say so. A little later, you and Indiana emerge on the back side of the pyramid, covered in dirt. As promised, you give him the reward. He happily knows the bone. Place your character on J. Take 78. No. C2, 56 and 63. In the box and an X token on A plus one. It must be already in there or we've got it and not seen it. Oh, that one. I can't. <laughs> so I don't know what the other two are doing. Yeah. I'll go for the same dog first. <laughs> I've got a crowbar. You're combining them. Combining them. 58 and 64. So yeah. you picked up the sticks, it says, because they're crafted. Yeah. Your colleague. Your colleague? Your college course, Voodoo Dolls 101, was good for something. Skillfully, you wrap and tie the wool around the branches. Et voila, the Yoda doll is ready. Put 58 in the, and 64 in the box, take 65. That can't be coincidence. That that's Millennium Falcon on that bullet. Sixty five times. Yoda. Anyway. I'm gonna so I'm gonna come up here and I see if I can put about eight four six on it. Yeah. Seventy eight four six. Seventy eight four six. We've got to look at his office apparently. It does not the most structured room. Not subtle but effective. After a quick prying, the door is open. Put C4 face up on the right side of the location card. Help. Then go to 562. Professor Abreu does not seem to be your stereotypical scatterbrained professor. On the contrary, he usually leaves nothing to chance. On the left of his desk is his computer, 851, and next to it is a cordless telephone, 852. In front of the desk is a leather swivel chair, 852. Right. Are you combining them? Uh, yeah, let's try. 59, 59 65. 65. Yoda is hanging by a thread from the Millennium Falcon. Ellie is sure to like this. Put 59 and 65 in the box and take 67. I feel like we're getting somewhere now. Yeah, it's fine. Right, small dog. Right, don't go straight to the computer because then it'll probably just oh, end. Just go and oh, see his chair. chair. <sighs> I'm not jumping straight in there. Sure, why be in such a hurry? Take a load off. There's definitely plenty of time for a test sitting. However, the seat is comfortable. Except, what to pinch in my butt? Take 77. See? Password post it. It says first five from an infinite series, one symbol helps. It is now four to one after three. The phone can be unlocked with the right combination. You can try to enter a code at any time. Prefer to enter A B C D E where A B C D E corresponds to the five digit code. Just looking at that, that date we've got. It's 14th of March. 
14th of March 1989. Just me? Yep. Do you know that one? Yeah. 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 Above L. I'm not just going to put it as a sign. Um, place your character on it. It's evil, really. <laughs> as usual, note is currently in the stack of books for 253. The librarian Aster 251 is the only one here. She's in a normal spot. Also, the cow Baldo 252. University mascot stands in her pen as always and watches you calmly. Okay, so I can see the cow. Or is it me? No, or is it after? So I'll go 25 too, and then that's the full. Is there any point? No, it's a copy of the first. Screen flashes, please insert disc. Hey Waldo, how are you doing? Moo, shush, shouts Astro. This is a library, not a stable. You know she reacts to her name and is always irritable. What a nice gift it was when the students took her. They had to sort books for hours afterwards. But Asgard, it's Aster, there are rules, such as leave Waldo alone. Moo, darn it. If you have 51, go to 662. In the following silence, Jose grabs your hand and whispers, The cow says she liked it better in the other universe. What does Waldo mean by that? Moo, mm, that's enough, that's it. Over and out, I warned you, get out of here. But Jose's character on 252 puts an X to a cut on 252. Uh, right, so I might as well go to the phone, but yeah. I don't think it's gonna. I'll do a lot now, it's good. When you press the call button, you hear a pleasant female voice. Please enter five digit relief code. Damn, how do I find out? <sighs> no idea. Book Abro's Nest in the Mountains. Oh, but where's the mountain? Is it this mountain? Is it this going up to the mountain? Well, I'm not there. I'll go to the library. Me and me. Yeah, well, look, books. Two five two. Since the moment you entered the library, you have had the feeling that you were being watched. But Astro and Waldo are in their usual places. Suddenly you hear footsteps in the next row of books. When you look, there's nobody there. If you have 51, go to 762. Phew, I think I'm getting paranoid. It says that uh, get Azul's McCall and bring it to the Orcus. Hi Astral, it's Aster. No interest in the governor's talk. Maybe later. I've got a few assignments I'm just not getting anywhere with. Can you maybe help me with them? Sure. Just show me what you need in follow back. Mm. What about the spell? Yeah. Yeah. I'll do that next time. Okay. 
Joanna from a bit of order. And then I'll I'll be speaking to her and then next time you can you can do a back prior. Uh, so what you're asking that's got uh, yeah, 35. Oh, that's old. You shouldn't just carry that around in your pocket like that. Leave her avium and book of birds. That's followed by some kind of secret writing. Wait. Asterisk digs into her desk and pulls out a thick tome. A brief history of cryptography. Is that what you read for fun in your free time? Quiet, I need to focus. Shortly afterwards, she says, Aha! The Virginia cipher is the encryption. At the time this was written, it was probably just the latest craze. So listen, the colourful birds of the barbarians must be in league with the devil. Devil. For every time they announced evil, it also came at the time prophesized. I'm going to put one here. So 67, 712. Ellie is muttering quietly. Oh, damn it, my glasses are all dirty. And now, of all times, I'm anxious to need gloss. The moment seems right. Ellie, look up there, the UFO. She looks up, squints, and then remembers to put her glasses back on. Again, she looks up and sees your creation floating upwards. Oh, the rebel forces, they're here. Excuse me, Destiny calls. Hey, you up there, over here. With this, she jumps after the UFO and clears your path to the observatory. 67 in the box, Ellie's token in the supply, and 1x token of 7 or 2. So you just go in there. Yeah. Well, I thought, if I'm still there, why not show her this, this okay. cave painting? 18. Leah's blowing her cheeks up. Phew, that's not my speciality. Oh, that would be good then. Well, with a 7.05. An OK token is below 7.04. Give us a 7.82. Three million passengers. The noise gets louder, the closer you get to the entrance. Occasionally, you can even make out voices. But to understand more, you must go into the building. The next token on 702, go to 682. Since Ellie's out hunting UFOs, the observatory is open to you. The closer you get to the command centre, the clearer the voices becomes. So you are finally standing in front of several computers. One is labelled SETI. The corresponding instrument is receiving radio signals, but at present it's certainly not a message from any extraterrestrials. Take 81. radio broadcast. The radio message is Bird to all, the dog is with me. Team Ovin continues as planned. Keep your distance to the island. Everyone else, stay away from the volcano under all circumstances. That goes for you too, guy. And warn your families. Bird out. That's the security camera, and um, right. they're the parrots. It's, I can't get in here. It's, we need to get in there. So it's the next one. Next one over to the Just the mental. So what does 
On the terrace there are two comfortable looking lounge chairs behind us is a house but as you move in that direction the road starts rounding. Don't see any hit any vehicles this is the inner territory. What it sounds like if you get in what I just said into. Oh, the gold coin. The gold coin in the computer. It needed a disc. So it says with what? Well, it won't. It was a good idea. Rambo, may I present your new playmate, Ms. Winston? Here, catch. You roll Ms. Winston right in his face. The Tomcat pours the ball carefully and then pushes it away, as if testing it. The result seems to be convincing, and the two of them roll around all over the place. Okay, Rambo's romping Ms. Winston has done the trick. A particularly violent speak, but Rambo's paw flings the ball directly at your head. The cat scampers away with its tail drawn in. You've got a ball of yarn now. With this and with the right tools, something interesting could certainly be crafted. Take 64. Anyway, let's just go through his cards. 18, 18, 38, 77. Which is first five from the Infinite series, and I thought of Pi for some reason. One symbol helps, and that's why I was wondering. This is now 41 out of three. It says, easy as Pi. 5, 3, 1, 4, 1, 5. That did cross my mind, and then that was just didn't cross my mind. The voice purrs, Claude accepted, thank you. You quickly tap your way through the menu. There are several stored messages and a number in the call list. If you want to listen to the messages, three on each, on the other hand, you want to press read dial. Mm -hmm. It's 
Schmigin off the fourth wing, so I'm off kick up. This is Gonzalez, who's calling. Uh, suddenly a scream sounds from the two men. Help, I'm at the camp, please. That was Avril. That was Avril. Gonzalez's voice comes on again, this time slightly, slightly annoyed. Working with professionals. What should I do, Signore? He bit my hand, and the line is dead. Oh dear, where to go now? He certainly meant the abandoned camp ground. That's not far from here. Come on, let's go. You grab your things and go to the campsite on an almost empty town. There's 77 in the box, and the next door on 852. Place location card M. Below J, place your characters on M. No? Are you ready? Yeah. It is already very late when you arrive at the abandoned campsite, which is in the middle of nowhere. Only a distant lantern dimly illuminates the area. Except for a camper trailer, there is nothing here. Light comes from inside the trailer through an open door. Under the trailer's canopy, there are several folding chairs. And a Where are you going? No fortune. Well, you're straight into camper van, even though I weren't allowed to go straight to the I Well, you went straight into trap. I see the point. Was it a page? <laughs> Later. <coughs> as soon as you enter the trailer, you stop. In front of you is Abriel, tied and gagged. Take the gag off him. Finally, I'm glad you're here. You don't know who's here. What do you mean that? Quick, untie me. We must. One moment. You owe us some answers first. With slumped shoulders, he says with a resigned tone. Fine. What do you want to know? Why do the parrots and dogs grow crazy? Who is Gonzalez and what does she want from us? And what have you done with us? Why all the secrecy? First things first. Naira Gonzalez came into possession of the Libra Avium. It reports on parrots that can predict the time of natural events with unusual precision. Thanks to her connections to the zoo, she finally found a suitable specimen. With Teresa's help, I wanted to take the book from her, but Naira was faster and recently stole my copy of the Liber Cadian. This in turn described a dog breed, dog breed that ideally complements the ability of the parrots, because they can sense the place where an accident will soon occur. With both together, Catastrophes such as the violent storm a few days ago, the earthquake, or even volcanic eruptions could be predicted more reliably. I therefore met here with Gonzalez to exchange knowledge, but I guess I was too trusting. She had their help with Guy. He stops in the middle of a sentence, then he call, calls, Careful, he's out there. All you see is a shadow at the window. Then the earth trembles again, and you are shaking vigorously. When the quake is over, you see that Abru is lying unconscious on his side. Only now do you notice Borky talking, that has somehow activated. A frantic woman's voice is speaking. This is Ellie, I mean Dr. Eleanor Spearway from the observatory. It's now just before midnight, March 13, 1989. That's before that date we wrote March 14. Yeah. Can anyone hear me? My phone line's out. This is an urgent warning. All measured data indicate that the volcanic eruption is imminent. Hello? The earth trembles again briefly. Damn, I can't move with love with one wants. And the emergency generator has also called it quits. The connection becomes weaker. Come here, urgent, Puerto Montes. But the device is mute. Oh, the mighty. Eastus? It was really hard to hear what she was saying at the end there. But it definitely sounded like a cry for help to me. What if Puerto Montes is in danger? Let's follow Ellie's radio message. Hey, did you forget about Guy? He tied up the professor, and now he's sneaking around somewhere out there. Also again true, because he's the hottest lead on Gonzalez. And what about Abreu? Should we leave him there? Oh, nobody will miss him. The wristwatch beeps. It's midnight. So now should we go to Ellie? Or go after Guy? I don't know what to make of all this. Decide now. Do you want to go to Ellie? Or do you want to go after Guy? Ellie, and then 862. 
donut just in time to see a big day in a red shirt disappearing into the fog. Oh Let him go, or he must get to Ellie. Hopefully the fuel will last until then. Unfortunately, it doesn't. About a half mile to your destination, your beloved car breaks down for good. You get out of it as fast as you can. Halfway along the route, Ellie approaches you with arms flailing, and you stop, panting. Get out of here, turn back. I beg your pardon, but we've picked up your radio message and we're trying to help. Then what are you doing here? I've told you no one should go to the observatory. You weren't listening to Ellie. It's too dangerous. It's critical that the population of Puerto Montes be warned immediately. According to my calculations, the lava will probably strike there again. Sorry, that part was completely inaudible. And what now? If the radio message was misleading, then no one knows. The city is in danger. You look at each other and make a decision. Okay, we'll do it. What's the quickest way to get there from here? On foot, Ellie thinks for a moment. Run across the plateau to the monastery. That's right above city. Then you can also warn the monks right away. But beware of the lava. Two, three, five. I feel like I've just read a book. Yeah, I'm glad you read. Replace location card I. Location card A. Place your characters on A. The volcano look. Uh, this concludes chapter three. <laughs> Here's what to do next. Points are awarded for the following adventure cards in your position. Mm. One point for each or Whew. that's in epic sixty. Sixty. No. Uh, sixty two. Sixty-five. Yeah. And seventy-two. Yeah. Two points each for sixty-seven and sixty-nine. <laughs> and three points each for seventy-four and eighty-one. Got 81. How many? Three. I'm not 81. I've got 24. Uh, if C1 is on display, yep. yeah. you get one point. If you have 28, subtract a point. It's all location cards except. N, large and small cards, and all tokens on them, as well as, and then I'll read it, so it's into the box. So for all locations, all location cards except N, and all tokens on them, into the box. As well as M3, 53, 57, 62, 65, 67, into the box. Pause, I'll save the game here. If you've saved, make a note that the next time you save, you will continue with entry N. Right? Basically, we don't really need to take a picture because we've only got N. Yep. So that's the end of chapter three. Again, I feel like we were rubbish. <laughs> but we'll see. Because we're not going to score until the end of the game. We've got five points to get there. We managed to get to the next bit, but I'm not sure. So this is why I'll not paying attention. Right. Uh, we'll see you for chapter four very shortly.